Apiary was a new title that was released from Stonemaier Games last year. And now this year, Stonemaier Games released an expansion for it. And so naturally, the question that everybody is asking is, is this expansion necessary for the game? Well, let's dive into it. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel today. My name is Carly and today I'm going to be sharing all of my thoughts on the brand new expansion for Apiary. This expansion is called Expanding the Hive. Now normally I kind of find expansions hard to review because normally they kind of fall into a handful of different categories for me. The first category is that's pointless, it's useless, there's just no point to even bother with it. Um, the next is, yeah, I mean it's, it's useful, it's nice, but I don't think you necessarily need it. Um, and then there's some expansions that I truly feel are necessary for me to fully enjoy the game and what that particular game has to offer. So what we're going to be doing with this review is we're kind of changing things up. I'm actually just going to be opening up this box, going through everything, talking about my experience with it, and if I feel like this is an expansion that you need for this game. If you are interested in any of my thoughts on the original base game, I'll make sure to link my, um, to my review in the description below for this video so you can go check that out. I know there are a handful of other creators who have also done great reviews on this game. Um, so kind of going in, coming into this review on this expansion, I'm just going to kind of be speaking and speaking um, as if you already know about the base game apiary really everything that this expansion has to offer just simply expounds on the base game all right so let's kind of generally jump into what this basically expansion has to offer um so it comes with it's nice because it has a little thing here on the front that basically explains what is in it so it includes um, seven new hive mats 15 new frames 15 seed cards, one new faction plus two reprints, four new recruits plus two reprints, three carvings, five developments, four farms, three dance tiles, six dance tokens, four explore tokens, and of course a new appendix and a rule book. Obviously you need the base game to be able to play with this expansion, um, but something that's really nice is that um, Stonemaier Games has packaged this in such a way that everything is going to actually fit in your base apiary box, which is so nice it is always it's so annoying for me when i get expansions and i have to keep them separate or i have to kind of figure out a new storage solution for the game everything that this expansion comes with will easily just fit right in um, and sometimes even replace things that are within um, the apiary box so let's go ahead and open this and you're gonna have to forgive me this is kind of a mess in here because i tried to keep everything separate from the base game and there's not really like an organized system in here <laughs> Um, so we'll just kind of go through everything um, and kind of explain my thoughts and if I feel like it improved the game at all for me. So here are the new dance tiles that you can use to overlay on the original board. Um, I, I liked these. I thought they were fine. Um, I didn't think that they added too much to the game, um, but it was nice, again, just to kind of have a little bit more variety with um, the dances that you um, were using to produce certain goods during your games. So there were those. Um, it also came with a ton of different tiles um, that you were just used that you used to mix into the base game to kind of add a little bit more variety. I thought these were fine. I honestly didn't notice a huge difference. I feel like the base came the base game comes with plenty of tiles. I don't know. I, did, I guess I never I didn't really notice these a whole bunch. There were a handful um, like of these golden ones that were interesting, um, but for the most part, I kind of like the base game apiary didn't I mean I felt like the base game came with everything I needed to in regards to the tiles so I thought the tiles were fine I mean it was like a nice little perk so these are the new faction um, that they introduce along with the two reprints. So because these are reprints, you would just use these obviously to replace um, those base factions that are found within Apiary. I like that they did this. Um, I do think that they kind of beefed up or brought down those particular factions a little bit more. Um, so again, these were fine. The game already comes with a ton of different factions. So again, it was, it was nice that they kind of changed the ones that um, or altered the ones that were in the base game and the extra one was nice but also not super needed I felt like. 
It also comes with more tokens um, to use with the dance, along with these, uh, goodness, what are these called? These Explore tokens. Yeah, the, yeah, they're Explore tokens. See, I was right. Um, these Explore tokens, which I actually did like these Explore tokens. So these ones um, introduced basically um, new ways to get to get bees, which I, which I really liked. Okay, so everything that I mentioned so far were things that I was fine with. I mean, it was nice that they added them. I didn't think that it necessarily like added a whole heck of a lot to the base game. Um, but everything else that we're going to kind of talk about, I actually am, I was really intrigued when I first opened this and was like, okay, I really am excited to play with that. And then I played with them and I was like, okay, I can never play the base game again without this. Um, so these, um, the very first thing we're going to talk about are these seed cards. So I really liked the these particular seed cards that the game came with. Um, again, the base game comes with so many, but um, I thought that every one of these was like really interesting. I think it added something unique to the game. But the main thing that I enjoyed about this game, we'll talk about these frames last because I think the frames are probably what I enjoyed the most. Um, so let's start with these um, little spaceship um, uh, what are these called? Hive mats? Is that what they are? The hive mats? Yeah, I think these are the hive mats. I didn't ever think that the base game hive mats were like missing something or needing needing anything in particular until I saw these. <laughs> it's nice because now that you have them, um, you just have so many more options in the game and you have a lot that you're able to choose from. So the base game comes with five. So if you're playing a five player game, I mean, you don't really have a lot. I mean, everybody's gonna play with one, right? You don't really have a lot of choices. But now, if you have the ones with the expansion, you have so many more options and you are able to actually kind of pick um, and align a little bit more with your faction, right? If your faction is really, if you can tell that your faction is going to be heavy in one area, well then you can try to choose a hive mat that would benefit you. It kind of allows you to kind of bounce um, abilities kind of off each other a little bit better. So I absolutely loved the addition of these hive mats. It made the game just that more interesting. Like when you were first setting up the game and you're choosing your faction and then you have the ability to better choose your hive mat. But apart from the hive mats, I actually have something else. Um, the last thing in this expansion that I wanted to talk about, which I was just obsessed with, the moment that I, I opened up the box and I saw these, I was like, why did I not even think about this in regards to these? I'm so happy that they included these. Um, but it is these, um, these frames that the expansion comes with. So just to refresh your memory a little bit um, in regards to apiaries, when you're playing the game and you have your little spaceship, there are times where you're able to build out frames, which basically just makes your hives bigger or your spaceships bigger in order to place more tiles onto it. Now in the base game apiary, when you have a frame and you place it onto your board and then you grab a tile and you're able to fill up that frame every time you place your hex or your little um, hexagons that you're getting in the game over a part on your frame you get a little bit of you get an ability so these are the frames in the base game um, and you can kind of tell maybe I'll throw up a picture if you can't see very well um, but on two of these locations if you fill those locations with a hexagon tile then you get whatever you cover up which on these two are just seed cards and that's what the entire base game comes with is just seed cards um, but this expansion changes that dramatically dramatically and on these frames there are a million different frames with a million different abilities um, and things that you have the potential to cover up. So for example, on this one, um, every time you fill up a space, then you get you get those particular resources, whether it's water or pollination or the little wormy ones. Um, this particular frame gets allows you to choose um, any of the any of the resources in the game. This one gives you honey. Some of these frames allow you to gain your bees back, gain little worker bees. Some allow you to um, increase on like the queen's favor track. I just love again when we kind of come back to like bouncing off abilities that's what I love about this game I love how you, everybody has a unique faction along with a with, with, with that comes with a unique ability that along course that again corresponds with your unique hive mat and trying to figure out the most efficient way to 
bounce your abilities off of each other or kind of chain things a little bit to really kind of maximize your ability, well, these individualized frame cards just enhances that for me along with these spaceships. So let's kind of get into um, my thoughts regarding this expansion for Apiary now that you, now that you kind of know, um, kind of know a little bit about what the box has to offer. Um, so the very first thing I really liked is that a, when everything fits in the base game, so you're not having to deal with any extra storage storage solutions, which is super nice. I don't necessarily think that they needed um, the dance stuff. Yes, it was nice. It kind of just adds a little bit more variety, but I, I didn't feel like it added that much more to the base game, honestly. Along with these tiles, just because the game comes with so many different tiles, I, again, were they nice? Yeah, but I... You could take these out, I guess is, is what I'm saying, is you could take these out, and I s wouldn't have really noticed personally. Just kind of keep coming back to the fact that most about this expansion, I'm just like, okay, I'm like, yeah, it's nice, kind of more good stuff, but I don't necessarily think you need it until you come to over here, <laughs> until you come to these new hive mats and these frames. Again, after playing these, I, I literally would never play apiary without these. It kind of has the similar expansion vibes that the e expeditions, is that what they're, it's called? Um, the expansion that brings the leaders um, into Lost Runes of Arnak for me. It's like those make the game infinitely better and I would never play without them personally. Um, this is kind of giving me those same feelings. Like I would never play the game without these frames. I would never want to start off the game without having all of these options for the different frames that I can kind of bounce off my abilities and try to maximize um, maximize my outlook right from the beginning of the game personally. Nothing about this expansion really changes or alters the base game. So if you did play the base game apiary and it wasn't your favorite thing or it didn't hit quite right for you, this expansion is not gonna change your mind, in my opinion. In my opinion, Opinion, this expansion is aimed for people who played apiary really enjoyed it N everything about this is just simply going to enhance that experience it's gonna make the game kind of that much more thinky that much more crunchy um, and that much more you kind of have to be planning ahead so that's just kind of something to keep in mind too so having said all of that um, I don't necessarily think that everything in this expansion is mandatory for the game. I mean, technically you don't need any of this, but I do think that if you dive into apiary a lot, I, I just keep coming back to this pile over here. I genuinely think these things do make the game more interesting and I think it does make it more of a, more of a strong game for you. I don't think you need this. So like if you do own apiary and you're okay with it and you're fine with it, I don't know if I would push you to get this expansion necessarily but if you do break open apiary a lot and it's one that hits the table quite often for you and you like the level of kind of like thinkiness and planning ahead and trying to kind of get stuff sorted out which is found in this game i do think that the this is just going to enhance the base game for you because these frames and these spaceships they really do make the game just that much better in my opinion and that much more interesting all right so i hope this video kind of helps give you the information you need in regards to this expansion for apiary and hopefully it kind of helps you work through your own thought process and hopefully you know if this would be a good one for you or not a after playing with it it makes you realize yeah I guess the base game was kind of lacking in that way a little bit and this just kind of like hits that sweet spot for me personally thank you so much for watching this video today I wanted to give a special shout out to Stonemeyer games for sending us this expansion to be able to review for you today and if you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel it means so much if you could do that it really helps support me and kind of everything that we're doing over here but until next time I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you later So excited. I do not have to put everything back in there anymore. And just mix it all in. Love it when publishers do that.